All right, so today I'm actually gonna try and set off on time, on time seven o'clock, which is when we're allowed to start riding. And I was actually intelligent and I pointed the solar panels towards the, the rising sun. So I managed to catch them early sun. There's not a lot of power to be had in the morning, but every little helps, especially today, because I'm gonna go pretty hard uh, and try and catch up to the Belgian boys. Let's see if we can, uh, let's see if we can camp with them tonight as a nice goal. They are 70 kilometers ahead though, so let's hope they're feeling tired and, and want lots of nice rest. Okay, I think I've got these aero bars. Ah! These aero bars figured out. Oh my god, it's so terrifying. I don't know how Raf, the guy in the lead, sits with so much time. Ah! Spent so much time on the aero bars. It's so unstable, you've got no control in the wind. But I am going very fast, I'm doing 30 kilometers an hour. Uh, so, you know, give and take. Well, some, some good and some bad news. The Belgian boys have got broken spokes, so that's going to slow them down while they get a repair. Which means good news for me, because I might be able to catch them, and obviously bad news for them, because they need to sort it out. Um, so today could be the day. I think it's time to get my head down, get on the aero bars, and listen to more intense, uh, intense German rock music, <laughs> and uh, try and catch up to them. They're still a long way ahead, but we've got quite a nice flat road, so hopefully let's, uh, let's get some miles put in. I'm just here at my, my favourite supermarket now. Norma. Alright, so with this amazing cycle path, we can say goodbye to Germany and hello Austria. More friendly people. Cool bike. Having a pretty hard day. Uh, it's just stopped raining. It was raining not that hard, but hard enough to be annoying. Uh, Night. I'm trying to get 200 kilometers done. I've got another 50 kilometers to go. Uh, now this is the one hell of a bike path. Perfect tarmac, perfect view, perfect weather. Are you a cycle tourist? Are you physically and mentally exhausted? Maybe you should try over intense German rock music. <laughs> Seems to be the only cure. Well, good news on the uh, comfort front. Uh, I've managed to get the feeling back in one of my hands. I haven't been able to feel that hand in two days, <laughs> just from the vibrations and the handles. I finally managed to uh, learn how to use the aero bars, so it's given my hands and wrists a break. So that's good. I've nearly caught up to the Belgian boys. Uh, 30 something kilometers away. I know where they're going to be camping, which campsite they've let me know. Um, all I've got to do is average 27 or 26 or something like that. I'm trying to stay over 27. Not a lot of battery left. Pushing quite hard. Alright. Getting close to the cut off time, which is 9 o'clock. So if I drop below 27 kilometers an hour average speed, I'm going to be in trouble. So. Down on the aero bars, time to push hard. Wish me luck. Alright, I'm getting closer. 16.4 kilometers. And yeah, the point four does matter. Uh, I've made some ground up. All I've got to do is hold 19 kilometers an hour now. I'm hoping that's possible. But god, I'm knackered. Alright, we've got less than an hour. Let's hope that I can make it. Pop back soon. Oh, I really don't need this. It looks super long as well. I can't even see the other side. It's only just turned red. God damn it. There must be another way around. I'm just, I might just go on the footpath, I don't know. Oh god. I've got nine minutes left. Two and a half kilometers. I think I can make it. It's gonna be very tight though. Oh, I, think, I think I might have done it. 
got 500 meters left. Four minutes left. So, uh, as always, thanks for watching. Uh, you're a very exhausted me. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.